Khomeini emerged as a leader for a number of reasons. One is obviously he tapped into religious sentiments. And of course, much of the population has some uh, sentiment towards Shiism. And he used very much Shi symbols, language, uh, even the, the, in the Islamic calendar, such things as Muharram were very important for the general public, uh, especially for the uh, working class. And he basically used very much the religious language symbols to appeal to them. Uh, but also besides that, of course, by 79, all secular uh, liberal uh, national organizations had been dismantled by the Shah. So there was a political vacuum. It was more easy for the clergy because mosques had not been disbanded. The mosque was still there. So in the political vacuum, uh, the local clergy were able to step in and take over. And another fact, actually, is a sort of Bavarian argument, is in a crisis like this, where tradition, where uh, modern institutions have broken down, the state had broken down, the monarchy had broken down, uh, you get basically the situation where a charismatic figure can appear. Uh, and the charismatic figure is not just a very popular figure, but almost a figure that's seen as having authority from above. And that's actually the true definition of Bavarian charisma. And very few examples you get in history where you do have such an emergence. And Khomeini does actually fit that rare appearance of someone who was seen as someone not just as a political leader, with something above political leaders, uh, even above the other great ayatollahs as being more supreme. So the term that was used for Khomeini, which was, would have been blasphemous in traditional Islam, was imam. Because in Shiism, imam meant something more than just a leader. It meant actually someone who is an infallible leader, who was basically appointed by God. And in Shi history, there had been only 12 sacred imams. And uh, religious leaders had never been described as imams. So when the term imam was used in the revolution to, or for Khomeini, it was like uh, uh, bringing to life a barbarian concept that this guy has charisma.